and welcome to Chefs Next Door. Today we cook Ukrainian Christmas dish kuvich. It's a vegetable stew with meat or fish. And today we're gonna cook a fish kuvich because most of Ukrainian traditional Christmas dishes must be lean. Oh, wait. I think we have the same dish in Serbia. It's called jivets and it's very popular in all Balkan countries. Most often it is made only from vegetables and sometimes as many as 40. Yeah, I know. I propose to make it interesting and mm -hmm. play a little Christmas lottery. Nice! So, there are snowballs, mm -hmm. and in each of wow. them there is a picture of certain vegetables. You pick four. So, I pick this one. Oh, should I give it to you? Okay. It's... Oh, it's an eggplant! Okay, so the next one will be this one. Ooh, carrot! Oh my god, I have a... What is this? Pepper? Bell pepper. And it's... It's uh, garlic. Yay! Let me pick one. Okay. Here you go. Choose. Okay. I guess that one. Oh, oh, onion. Onion. <laughs> onion. Like my favorite vegetable. <laughs> Good choice, actually. <laughs> By the way, what kind of vegetable is this? Huh? I think we should open this up. Let me go, psychos. Oh, it's you, little buddy. Hey, Natalie, how about Jivets with Robert? Is it lean enough for you? Oh, just cut him some slack. So, oh. carrots for me, because I'm such a bunny. And hey. onion for you, because you are such a... Edward, uh, yeah. Today, Bruce. I have a cool life hack for carrots. So, right after I peel it, I will try my new life hack. And while you're trying a new life hack, I will try an old life hack. Actually, it was life hack of my Serbian grandma. She used to cut the onion without disc. So I'll show you how. Okay, just be careful. But can you leave me the address of the nearest emergency room? Just in case. I know a vet clinic around the corner. They can put him down there. <laughs> I see it like you to, to comedians. So. <laughs> It goes like this, see? Okay, firstly we need to make this huge cuts. And I'm making cuts halfway through the onion. Now I'm cutting from the top and see? I'm cutting onion! Oh my goodness! Without a desk. Then we are doing this another side. And now I'm using this peeler. Oh! Oh my goodness! See? It's so thin and so pretty. <sighs> so about Ukrainian Christmas, I've heard that the majority of population in Ukraine is Eastern Orthodox. So how come you celebrate it on December 25th and not January 7th like the rest of the Eastern Orthodox? Mm, before the war, most Ukrainians celebrated Christmas on December firstly, okay. and then once again in January. Wow, that's genius! Like, yeah. the more Christmas is the better. Absolutely. <laughs> and you see, my life hack totally worked. I'm still alive, and I still have all my fingers. <gasps> Thank you, baby Jesus. <sighs> Watch this. And about a Christmas in Ukraine, Ukrainian church decided to officially celebrate Christmas on December 25th. Because, you know, on this special day, we want to be together with Europe. This is a part of our civilizational choice. I'm going to cut the eggplant. I'm going to use the same technique as with the carrot, but I will not use any peelers, just knife. Oh my god, Natalie, can you for once cut something normally without life hacks? It's not like we are on some cooking show. Really? You don't say! <laughs> I'm kidding. We're on the best, the greatest cooking show in this universe. <laughs> yeah, we are. Watch this. Okay, we make the cuts half the way through, mm -hmm. and then we make another cut, like here. Also half the way through. Same half cut, right? Okay. Now we are cutting all the way through it, like this. Wow! And see? Yeah, beautiful. We have the perfect pieces, just perfect ones. Okay, bell pepper, don't you mess with me, because mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a hard time right about now. Ugh. Okay, and this is how I remove the stem. Okay, come on, seeds, come out, come out, come out. You 
pepper. You can scream all you want because I'm gonna cut you like a, you know, like you know. a bell pepper. And about the Christmas traditions in Ukraine, mm. boys and girls prepare special songs and verses they take from house to house, entertaining their community in exchange for sweet gifts and tips. So these carols, they're like Christmas songs. Can you sing me one? But just give me a second. I'll hide my keys, cell phone, and my wallet because I'm afraid I'll be so bewitched by your singing. I will give you everything I own, like, unwillingly. Okay, Sorry. I'm just kidding. I don't have anything on me right now. Sorry, singing is not my thing. You know, when I sing oh. the carol song, people usually don't give me some sweet treats. They call the police. Oh, my God. <laughs> But you know the world famous Christmas song Carol of the Bells? Of course. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. Oh, it gives me chills every time I hear it. And by the way, this song was in Home Alone movie, no? Absolutely, that's right. It was written by Ukrainian composer Mykola Leontovich. Really? It is based on Ukrainian song Shadrach. Mm -hmm. It is a song about the little bird who brings happiness to families. And the most devastating part of the story is that Nikola Lentovich, the composer, mm -hmm. was killed by Russian communists because he was allegedly a Ukrainian nationalist. But in fact, his only fault was that he wanted to develop Ukrainian culture in Ukraine. This is so sad, and I'm so sorry, Natalie, that goddamn Russia brought so much pain to the Ukrainian people. Yeah, it's so sad, for, for real. But hey, to brighten things up, now it's time to add our secret ingredient to this dish. Okay. Actually, I'm going to add a glass of white dry wine to this dish. That will definitely brighten things up. Absolutely. Tell me what Ukrainians eat and drink on Christmas Eve. We have 12 Christmas iconic dishes, and some of them we already cooked. Cabbage rolls, holiday, okay. right? Yes. Dumplings, yes. veraniki. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yes. How can I forget? They're absolutely amazing, but my life goal is to try all Ukrainian dishes. Today is definitely your lucky day because wow. I brought you the most popular Ukrainian Christmas dishes. Which are? Which are kutia and uzvar. Fantastic! Can I taste them? Uh, actually, you're supposed to taste them right after you see the first star in the sky. Uh, I'm kidding. We are the two stars who shine in the studio all oh, the time. So, yeah. of course, we can eat and drink everything. <laughs> but before this, can you guess the second secret ingredient? Is it red dry wine now? No, enough is enough. Oh. Tomato sauce. Okay, coming up. <laughs> Usually, I dream of white Christmas. But when I run out of white, I switch to drinking red. <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody! Watch this! So, I'm pouring the tomato sauce. Mm, and I can already try it? Sure. Ugh, come on! Mmm! Mmm! Sweet! So, this is kutia? Right. What is it made of? Uh, it's a wheat berries, mm -hmm. also honey, mm -hmm. pop seeds, also mm. walnuts. And some dry fruits. So, does it have haruka in it? <coughs> Actually, no. This is made of mm. dried fruits. Ooh, groovy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try this, little buddy? Yes. Why? You're not orthodox? I am Chinese. Mm, you're missing out. It's time to put our fish into this bacon form. Actually, guys, you can use any kind of white fish you prefer, but here I use the European hake. Okay. And now mm -hmm. I'm putting all these vegetables on top of okay. our dish. Wow. So now we send our garbage to the oven for 40 minutes. Here you go. And it's a final countdown before Time Christmas. Goes by. <laughs> so slowly. Time goes by so slowly. Watch this. So today we cook the Ukrainian version of very famous Eastern European dish, guvach with fish. And it smells so good that it drives me crazy. Can we start the Christmas dinner already? Surely, but before let's take a moment and say a little prayer or make a wish if you prefer. 
Well, a little prayer wouldn't hurt nobody, so... Okay. Okay, I hope everyone's wishes will come true. So be safe, eat healthy, and have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody, and see you next time.